Hello again. In step two of uh, this um, series of videos to making uh, uh, Revit Villa, <coughs> number one, uh, well, after the previous video we just made the, uh, the main setup for the file and we scaled up the image that we inserted and we make it to the correct, uh, almost correct actually scale. Uh, it's impossible again to predict exactly how much. It's uh, if this is a 900 as I said before or if it's one meter but again you can compare and make more logical assumption by comparing for example um, another uh, famous dimension like the width of the, those basins and compare them to, uh, to the door and if you find that maybe 600 and that's one that makes more sense anyway now in this video again uh, just I'm gonna show you how to make a wall and how to apply that wall so I'm, I'm gonna go wall in uh, Pick the default 200 mil, and I don't know how wide actually the wall is, so I'm gonna go generic basic and just place one here randomly. And as you can see, it's, it's very close to 200 millimeter uh, of a thick of uh, 200 millimeter thick wall. So I'm gonna again go that, and again edit type duplicate, and I'm gonna call it uh, exterior wall. And in it, I'm gonna go. Uh, from outside and uh, I need to know which uh, material has existed here and as you can see in the images uh, it's look like those are just an external uh, wood panel and from inside something like a whitish paint uh, so I'm gonna go, again goes on an assumption so I'm gonna go like a 200 mil of a wood panel and then uh, I don't know maybe like a, another 10 mil uh, air gap or any type of uh, substrate I don't know and uh, any way that uh, this should be fixed I, I don't care about the exact uh, structural or construction details of that so I'm just gonna assume there's a gap or insulation or, any, or, any, or anything you want I'm gonna go 110 millimeter uh, concrete and then uh, what else uh, I don't know uh, let's say like uh, 10 millimeter or let's go 20 millimeter uh, concrete or secrete and then another 10 millimeter uh, gypsum and I will add paint here so I know it's a long name but it can help me to understand the you know the way it goes from external to internal and it should be 200 mil so this is 30 170 and then 200 mil and it's an exterior wall as a function I'm gonna go edit uh, the structural one is the core one and it's the concrete so it's 100 mil uh, picking up the material for it here yeah, from the it was by category because it was generic just right here see oh and it's gonna give you all the concrete material uh, I'm gonna go with the concrete cast in situ and I'm gonna insert a layer and push it up change that into a substrate or if you want a thermal nair it's a, depending on what you want you can add substrate and whatever constructional detail you want I'm, I'm gonna go uh, just an air here uh, let's see what uh, we have I don't know infiltration uh, barrier I don't know not that much important for me and I used to add here I say 10 mil so 10 mil right so I'm, I'm, go I'm going that way which is externally upward and that's my 10 mil so I need to insert another one here and it's gonna be external finish four as an external and it should be uh, like 20 mil as it's been written here and then I'm gonna change that to wood any type of wood maybe soft lumber now again inside so down down this guy is another substrate it's just a fixing material you can include that as a finish five it's okay and let's say go 20, 20 mil and you just got a secondary concrete so 20 mil and then again insert push that down this must be finish five actually and uh, it should be a gypsum the exact is 13 mil but I'm just gonna assume it's 10 I'm gonna add another one here and it's paint so it's just a membrane and 
it's paint again if you couldn't find it just create new material here and rename so I should have renamed before I select it just rename as a paint or just a white paint and you can change the appearance color to white I don't know if it's appearance actually I don't want to go in the, in the detail here uh, to see which is which I'm just I change this, this it should be shading one but we need to go ahead and see what it's look like in the in the foreground and uh, as a background color whatever whatever thing you want to add I'm, I'm just not gonna waste time on that uh, whether it's a cut pattern or on the surface pattern even if foreground or background condition I'm not gonna go in this detail just gonna go OK and then uh, select that and of course it doesn't have any thickness if you applied here any other type let's say finish 5 and you hit OK you got a 50-50 chance it's gonna be rejected and getting a warning messages like this telling you yeah there is no layer for an actual physical material so and it's actually suggesting it to go a membrane layer telling you the solution so I just anyway uh, that's it so hit OK and then just draw the wall try to go ahead here and I'm gonna go one way all the way to down here now the layers and everything so you have to make the fine detailing here and if you remember the 20 mil the wood the thicker one was outside so you have to hit the space to flip that now that's better the wood is outside if you remember so let's select the wall and for some reason it isn't just hit escaping a couple of times so how long it is it's if it's not really just make it a, an exact clear number and I'm gonna go right click and create similar yeah good that the thick wood is outside so I'm gonna go all the way here and uh, a new trim should have started from so I'm gonna ignore the exact placement I'm gonna get back to that so again probably we need to go here and I'm gonna ignore that whatever it is I'm gonna stop here and then go down I don't know where it's not really clear so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna go coming here and do the same thing again create similar zoom in to make sure space here we really, we really need the space in here so go down and then I'm gonna go ah uh, no really no and then you go up and then just follow the close it probably we need a trim just double check thick 200 uh, the 20 mil for uh, the wood we outside and yeah it is it's so far so good yep and a trim here of course now the exact location is required so zoom in probably you need to push that with arrows a little bit to the left and right until you find the exact location now the length I would go and add a dimension and it's gonna be really boring and annoying because there will be too much lines I'm gonna get back to cancelling the fine uh, out of the views with a couple of tabs you can get the exact external faces of each wall and internal face if you want I'm just gonna place dimension for me so I can get rid of this inaccurate and make those numbers clean
and you need an extra click on the tab and the final one which is this great so you can select this guy or select this guy whatever you want I'm gonna get select this and probably I'm gonna make this 16 like that check where this is goes it look like no yeah so it's probably less than I'll make that 5 and I'll make that 9 which is much more accepted great now same thing here I'm gonna select that guy and round that to 900 zero, zero, or even 10 no it's better than that selecting this uh, make that 900 if it's possible yep and I'm gonna select this one and make this is exactly 16 meter it's actually more than that but anyway 16.1 something like that and this is a 5300 see now this one probably the exact 916 19,600 sorry uh, this one I'll make it just uh, 6 point one meter just clear the number the way I'm doing it now so remove this 50 mil for example like 6,000 and this is like 4.6 it's actually like 4.7 meter 4,700 making things much more realistic 3.6 here nah, actually 3.7 better now this guy is completely wrong I don't know like it it's probably I'm gonna delete it so uh, this dude I don't know 900 so I'm gonna create similar again and I'm gonna just try to place it as close as it can it's saying 12 degree which is okay trim that and sadly we need to go back to fine is the wood outside now so hit space so back to course and then again so do we need to change that I don't know probably that if I change it gonna give me a different location so I'm gonna accept this whatever whatever it is and keeping this in 12 degree exactly so I'm gonna keep that this is a clear number this is, I'm not gonna care about that as long as this is this is actually in projection make any sense like this so this is a clear number so I'm not gonna care about the exact length of this or neither this one so I'm gonna keep it that way so this is uh, the exact uh, the exact exterior walls as you can see placed correctly and continuously so far you can go ahead and delete that dimension if they actually confusing you okay so again just a run running quick check in here so sound cool that's it for this video in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do the partitions and how to place them the same way. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.